Hello. I believe we are live. What is the story, people? How's it going? Can anybody confirm that you can hear us? There's always a lag. It always takes a while. Um, I'm sure they can. Uh, full Wheezy, I see you in the chat. How's it going, man? What is the story, people? Um, so, yeah, uh, Tekken 8. Um, ready to watch me get fucked for free, especially by Macho Man's King. Uh, I've yet to beat uh, Macho Man's King, so yeah, this, this is going to be fun. Well, the cream always rises to the top. It does, I've heard that. Mm. And the lobby is open to public, so if any of you are playing Tekken 8, have a look for a European lobby called Just Bleed and join in. I thought there'd be more people uh, joining, but... Uh, nobody likes you. Nobody likes me, so yeah, it's uh, kind of a kind of a loner lobby at the moment. There's only three of us. Who is the Brendan Schwab of Tekken? Of Tekken the Light Brendan. Space Man would like to know. Um, probably Eddie, I think. Just useless. Things are funnier than they really are. Is this the PS5? No, this is on Steam. But it is a cross-play lobby, so if you're on the PlayStation 5, you can join. Hi, Wheezy. Hey, Wheezy, what's up? So I'm just going to blame all my losses tonight on the fact that I'm trying to read the chat while also play. And nothing to do with the fact that I am actually just shit at Tekken, so... Um, Amir, yes, sir. Thank you for um, 25, whatever AEDs are. I'm not sure. Um, do you ever realize you might have wasted your life with an obscure hobby you are no longer passionate <laughs> about and just want to play video games instead? Every day. I mean, yeah. how I get out of bed. Um, most of my hobbies are video games. Video games, um, and I have totally wasted my life. So I can probably relate to that uh, more than you would imagine. Is it Just Bleed game? Just Bleed? The, the lobby is just called Just Bleed. Okay. Oh, I'd like to know I'm a waste of your time. You're not a hobby. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, am I not, though? Okay, it says uh, trying to but can't find the lobby. Okay, well, I'll check the settings. Um, again, obviously, this is a work in progress. So we'll, uh, we'll see how it goes. Yeah. Oh, and it's Europe, yeah. Yeah, it's Europe. That is a fabulous tiger. It is. 
And for anyone who doesn't know, the Macho Man Randy here is the genius behind the uh, the Dennis Seaver Fan Club's Christmas album. And you're, you're actually fighting someone. Yeah, this Beer, is. Bearded man. Yeah. Oh, okay. Ah, oh, I shouldn't have done that. God damn it. <laughs> I was going for the, I was going for the panic button win. Uh, I'm not saying your name, Phil. Um, the female speaking would be Napoleon's wife, and it is true. This is a living human. It's not AI. No, it's His not. His voice is not AI. Believe the living it or human. Not. Shocking, it or not. isn't it? And uh, okay, so we've got Brando Commando in the the lobby, Digital Dutchman, and um, and Macho Man. So it, it's 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 filling up. We got a few people here. No in-game sound on the stream. Is there not? Okay. Uh, that's what. Um, Number nine five, no nine five says. Um, there is. It's just, it's at the little low. I'll turn it up a little bit. It's it's always a delicate balance getting your video game low or your video game and your beacon uh, right level. Uh, Rune zero. Hold on. I'm gonna invite you to the game. Um, oh, you gotta accept my friend invitation, Rune. Um, and put him in your top eight. And put him in my top eight. All right, digital Dutch. Uh, Kieran. Had to go down. Kieran uh, Bright Bryden. Yeah. I am American, but I've been here for twelve years, and I am slowly <laughs> developing an Irish accent and full wheezy. Yes, at, at times I sound like Harley Quinn too. Thank you, Scott Townsend. I appreciate that, man. Paul Weezy, uh, Mrs. Blonaparte does do a good uh, Harley Quinn. I don't hear it, but what else? Is that like the New York's naked cowboy, but a woman and not naked? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Is it the naked cowboy? Right? That was the. Th is he still yeah. alive? Probably. Anybody? Yeah. You guys know about the naked cowboy in Times Square? Is he still alive? Somebody find out, because I don't want to pick up my phone. Louise, we want to forget about the Ashita Kim streams. <laughs> I mean, you know. Ah, uh, so you can no one, you can never really ever forget about the Ashita Kim streams. They are with us for life. It's going to be our defining legacy. Great. I want it on my tombstone. Here lies Mrs. Blown Apart, A.K.A. Sandy. Oh, you son of a bitch! Oh, the naked cowboy is still alive. Ah, oh, good for him. Thank you, dubiously. I'm sorry, my eyes are not working well today. I'm sorry, fill her mouth. It's it is a beautiful name, and I should have said it out loud with with no hesitation. Yep. And AI can get married. I don't know if you knew that. Um, won't you become sentient? You can send you. Mm -hmm. send, send you. Seriously, my mouth and eyes are not working. Uh, yeah, you get married. And Napoleon does not like whiskey, but he will drink that honey one. Yeah, it's, that, it's in, all right. It's, if you put it in yeah. Coke? Was it Coke? Or tea? What the hell did I put it in? Make your hot toddy with it? Yeah. Hot toddy. Thank you, 9-5. Thank you. For $2, enjoy the shout out to the Sega Saturn. Dubiously, I'm glad you enjoyed it. That said, the new t-shirt design is the Sega Saturn Just Bleed guy. I haven't actually put it up for uh, to purchase anywhere yet. I'm still kind of working on it. I want to do like a little video or something before it goes live. But um, that is, yeah. The, I figured I'd do like a, uh, a lost media kind of thing. I'm going to make it that uh, 
it's like it's just about to say the Saturn game about to just bleed guy that was too violent for uh, human consumption so it only exists now in the form of one chip tune track which is the Seagal track and this uh, box art Okay, wait, wait, I gotta catch up. Who drinks whiskey for the taste? Alex Gomez would like to know. Fucking no one. No one. It's Let's, disgusting. Yeah, it's gross. Seriously, it's I gross. hate whiskey. Um, just because the AI is Irish doesn't yeah. mean he likes it. Rattlesnake. Does he like mead? We were in Estonia, and I cannot remember the name of the mead. But Sakumodu. It, you see, instantly, this was like seven years ago. It was fucking gorgeous, and I don't drink. So good. Um, and that was honey. Yeah, it was a honey, a honey, honey, honey mead. Yeah, yeah, it yeah. was so good. Okay, where are we? Uh, I am Gl Gloom. Uh, what's your favorite novelty guy on there? The Panda, Kuma. Um, that's weird. I've never really played with too many other characters, so I, honestly, I've never played with the uh, the kind of joke characters. You take this very seriously. Yeah, yeah. Um, oh, maybe like Gone, I think. Uh, who doesn't like Gone? He's a cute little dinosaur. Right? Um, Digital Dutchman, you got lucky in that fight. That's all I'm going to say. Hi, Anon Music Critic. How are you? And we end... Um, kid named Tony. If you Yeah, you can search for the lobby. It's just called um, Just Bleed. Um, look in Europe for Just Bleed lobby. Is this your bird nap? Am I your bird? Yes. Your moth? My moth. Me my bored. Me, you gotta you gotta pronounce it like B U R D. That's how Dubliners bored. Me bored. Um, dubiously. Oh, uh, well. Thank you for the two dollars you sent, by the way. And I'm glad I will take that as payment for getting you into Lef. Lef is the king of beers, which Absolutely. you had for the first time in in uh, Belgium, Belgium. Yeah, right? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, full wheezy. He, he knows what it's about. That uh, Sakumodu is the absolute shit. It's still probably the single best alcoholic beverage I've ever had in my life. We skipped eating actual bear. Like, uh, yeah, bear I, I don't think I could bring Estonia. myself to no. eat bear. They're too cute. Yeah. That man has a tiger head. Yeah, that's uh, Macho Man again. Oh, but in different form? He is a filthy king main who does nothing but spam grabs. It's it's the cheapest character, the worst character. I hate him with every fiber of my being. Um, I don't like him. Uh, leave me alone. You suck, etc. Do I pirate UFC events or pay? Asks Flavor Town. <laughs> don't worry about it. <laughs> of course I pay. Everyone pays. I don't want Dana coming after me on stream. I don't want to be the guy that he gets. You know, we all know about how that one guy uh, was caught pirating a UFC event and Dana went on a fucking press conference to announce that he got him. Um, are IPAs a thing here? Yeah, yeah, we have IPAs here. Um, they're good as well. I'm not a huge fan of them, but uh, every now and again you can get a real nice one. Um, oh, there's one I, I can't even think of the name. It's like Sea Breeze IPA or something that's brewed over here. It's really good. Mm. Oh, the cat's snoring. Uh, yeah, you can probably hear the cat snoring in the no. background. Uh, OM, NAP, is in IT. Yeah, That's yeah. what he does for an actual job. So everybody who says, blah, 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 you don't get have an actual job. job. Get a real job. Yeah. He has one. He does. I get a lot of comments from people being like, you should get a real fucking job. I've had a real fucking job since I was about 16 at this point. So. Snack pack. Roll over. Um, Hood 61, do I play on a controller or a stick for Tekken? Tekken is the only fighting game, I think, that I can play with a controller. Um, mm -hmm. 
I used to play Street Fighter 4 like a lot, like way too fucking much. Um, and I had an arcade stick for that. But um, yeah, you need a, a stick for tech or for Street Fighter just for doing the quarter circle stuff. Uh, for Tekken, it's fine though. You can smash buttons in. It's what I do. Oh no, that's puddle snoring. Update. I'm sorry. That is puddle snoring. Not snack back. Uh, Alex, most. Oh shit! It's a mirror match. How did that huh? happen? Yeah, that's oh. yeah, to the same character fighting each oh. other. Oh, sick entrances. Yeah, it's it's pretty pretty uh, sick. Let's see, uh, Alex. Food and drinks over here are better. Like the milk, the dairy, the bread. It it has to do with all the shit they put in the food in the U.S. and that they don't do here. It's not that the food not bad here. It's just America. Just you know, it's like yeah, eat that poison. You're good. Yeah, yeah. We got we have much better chocolate here than you guys. Oh, it's so good as well. Speaking of, I still gotta hook Lana up. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I know. I haven't forgot about you. You're not in the chat, yeah. but I haven't forgot about you. Again, lucky win, Brando. That was just sheer fluke. Was it a win or a loss if you're technically fighting yourself? No, it's, it's a deep yeah. question, right? I mean, if you, every day aren't we about? I'm going to take the Gracie approach to this. Even if I lose because I learned something, it's a win for me. So you can't beat me, Brando Commando. I got to say, yeah, uh, Huarang's uh, Taekwondo in this game is absolutely fucking sick. I love using this dude. Okay. I'm going to thank you for him, Travis. He really appreciates that. Wheezy, um, yeah, I, I prefer living over here, too. Like, living in Europe is great. Not perfect, but pretty great. Um, Boris, I am from the East Coast. Beast Coast, if, if Beast one Coast. will. What was my rank in Tekken 7? Um, zero. Literally zero. Um, I generally play Tekken single player. I'm one of those weirdos who likes fighting games offline. Um, and I played Tekken 7 online once. I got one win and retired on top. It does look really good. Though my, I, like, I don't know, I think games that move that quickly for me now are like, mm-mm, mm-mm. Mm -mm. Even for me, this is a stretch. <laughs> sort of like, ooh, enjoy the, um, the vertigo. Oh, Shaco Bonds. Those no. are good. Those Damn. are quite good. Fluke win, Brando. Fluke win. And again, I didn't lose. Because I learned something in that fight. <clears throat> so because I learned something, I win. It's the Gracie defense. Okay, what are some of your favorite UFC fights the Irish Zombie would like to know? Um, my favorite UFC fights? Ah, uh, still, it's got to be um, Korean Zombie versus Yair Rodriguez. I don't think I've ever jumped off a fucking sofa as hard as I have at the end of that fight. I could not believe it. It was such a great fight for, like, 24 minutes and 59 seconds and then rodriguez pulls out that fucking uh out of nowhere elbow uh that was just insane i've never seen anything like it. that and i think this thing versus rockhold too as just because of the story behind it uh that was another one where i was literally screaming at the tv just like holy shit i can't believe this is happening um oh flavor town uh would like your blessing he has his first bjj tournament in two weeks oh shit good luck man may the power of seagull bless you go for a wrist lock nobody in bjj ever sees the wrist lock coming i swear to god oh uh bro dog millionaire thank you for that man i appreciate it you bought one of the rash cards i hope it works out well for you it uh, definitely does improve grappling ability by at least uh, i'd say about 20 percent i think um a non-music critic wants to know are the rules that nap stays on or you or would you like the winner to stay on i guess assuming it's you stay on because it's um it's it, it's winner stays on oh is it yeah, yeah. oh okay what is wait what does that mean uh, oh, wait, whoever win, whoever wins the fight keeps playing until but you lose. don't no if i lose i'm 
to the back of the queue. And whoever wins uh, 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 the fight okay, keeps okay, on playing okay, until Okay, okay, okay. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Do you want water, you sound horse? Yeah, please. Okay. Do you want tea? You don't want tea? You don't want endless pots of tea oh. like in that Ishida Kim novel? Would no. you like to talk about tea? Never tea. Why? No, I'm but done with tea. I sat down and drank tea and then came on this live stream. For anyone who doesn't know, if you ever read <laughs> the amorous adventures of Ishida Kim... Which I highly suggest you do, but get it there. There is like about 10% smut in that book and about 90% <laughs> tea drinking and tea preparation. It is, it's a fucking bait and switch if ever I've read one, put it that way. Uh, Reaper Jones would like to know, do you have any favorite Japanese MMA promotion after Pride? Um, Ryzen or K1? Um, well, K1 wasn't MMA, it was kickboxing. But um, the golden age of K1 is... So good, and it's something that I've been meaning to make a video on at some point. Um, I'll get around to it eventually. But, but with yeah. that real job. With that real yeah, job. Yeah, it's it just... makes shit difficult. <laughs> um, and yeah, no, and um, yeah, Rise It is great. Um, it's, yeah, I mean, I don't know any of the people fighting in it, to put it bluntly. Um, most of them have pretty shit records. Like, there's a lot of fighters in that promotion who are like one and one. But oh, it's, just, it's just fun. Uh -huh. It's a fun uh, shit to watch. Quit spectating. Oh, oh yeah. Mm, Don Fry versus Fedor, long last name. Who would have won? Don Fry versus Fedor? Yes. Um, uh, Fedor, I think. Yeah. Uh, I love Don Fry. He's great, but uh, I think Fedor was just way more well rounded. Oh, Full Weezy brings up a good point about burning books, which I am not for, except for in these two instances. Is the Matt Hughes book still on our bookshelf? <laughs> yeah. Ah. I can't get rid of it at this No, point. I think we can, though. No, no, it's part of part of our legacy now. We have a real shite legacy. You realize that, right? It's, it's a good legacy. Mm. We've read some pretty fun books. Uh, you shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Matt Hughes, Sashida Kim, uh, Frank Dukes. These are all quality pieces of literature. Oh, right up there with Homer and uh, Tolkien and, you know, yeah. Nietzsche. Yeah, yeah. All that, yeah. Dude, those guys suck compared mm -hmm, to Sashida mm -hmm, Kim. Mm -hmm. Fucking useless out writing. Bunch of fucking dumbasses. How much does judo help in MMA? Um, uh, well, it's. Yeah, it definitely helps. I mean, like, I'm no expert. I can't claim to be an expert. I only did judo for. A month or so. Uh, Andrew, I don't know if you're talking about us, honey, but he did not call me mom. <laughs> that is not a thing in this house. Okay. Uh, Angel Master, is Francis Ngannou proving that MMA is the best base for boxing? Um, no, I think Francis Ngannou is just a freak show in the best possible kind of way. He's, uh, yeah, he's just, he's built for boxing. Uh, he's got the power and the size, you know. I mean, you only have to look at other people like McGregor when he went to boxing and got absolutely schooled. Uh, no, it, it's, no. Very different. Oh, Matt Hughes refers to his wife as mom. Yes, you are right. I, for a second, I read that. I was like, oh, excuse me? It was the first time hearing about this. <laughs> oh, yeah. No. Yeah, and you're right about that, Andrew. I apologize. <laughs> Matt Hughes definitely called his wife mom, like, a lot. A lot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> to a disturbing degree. Oh, there's more people in there now. Yeah, yeah. I mean, not loads, um, but more. Okay, Salty Boar PT, can you actually start the damn game? Please, maybe say please. Please. <laughs> well, we can't actually fight until this guy, you know, presses a button. Yeah. Okay, if Salty Boar, um, if you don't uh, actually start the game soon, I will have to kick you out so people who are playing can. Maybe he's, he's in the bathroom. 
Yeah, but he might be in the bathroom. Maybe he's going BM. <laughs> I don't know. But that's not my problem. Go BM on your own time. All right, Brand. Oh, God, not Brando Commando again. This lucky, fluky winning bastard. Who's your favorite Tekken character? Is it the guy with the hair? Um, well, considering I have a Jin Kazama tattoo, probably Jin, although... Yeah. Although I am partial to Asuka. Asuka and... Um, um, John. Iceman. Is that how you pronounce it? I Iceman? Yeah. Okay, sorry, I didn't want to mispronounce it. Um, yeah, my accent has changed. Like, my American friends and family think I sound Irish. Irish people don't. They hear it in certain things, but, um, yeah. And is this not open to U.S. players, honey? Yeah, yeah, it's, uh, it should be, as far as I know. Oh, actually, no, you know what, it might not be. Um, Sorry, I'm cracking my knuckles. You know, what I'll do is I'll leave it um, as is for now, because I think most of the people in the live ch or in the, the lobby are patrons. Oh, it's me. <laughs> oh. So um, we'll play with just patrons in the lobby for a while, and then I will open it up worldwide and let anybody who wants to join. Kick your ass. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Like this fucking bee is doing right now. Oh, mm -hmm. something. Our cat is snoring like a goddamn steam train back there. Oh, fluke win. Now, Boris has a, an interesting accent as well, apparently. Russia, Ireland, the UK, and now the US. That is a heady mix. What's your favorite movie? Favorite movie Ooh. is um, No Country for Old Men. Is that your favorite movie? Yeah. yeah. Huh. Three, All right, time to get serious. No, don't look at it. How are you going to beat that thing up? With great difficulty, apparently. Who is the next big thing in Irish MMA? Well, I have no idea, to be honest. I haven't really been paying uh, enough attention to Irish MMA. There, there's not much of a scene here, to be quite honest with you. I mean, it's a small scene, and there are plenty of good people, but yeah, no, I mean, I don't go to, like, amateur nights or anything like that, so I'm not hugely clued into the Irish MMA scene, really. I'm trying to get into MMA, uh, the heart's in the way, I'm assuming because of your videos, should I stop? No, don't stop. No. Unless you get hurt, in which case, you know, heal and all that shit, but like... Yeah, no, enjoy yourself, man. Just, uh, yeah. Do it. You just bleed, but just bleed Do respond responsibly. Yeah. Oh, uh, Nato, Nato, Nat, Nat to get. Sorry, seriously, I'm having fucking issues at the moment. If the bumblebees don't fly, you have to give them sugar water. Remember that time I yeah, saved that bee? Yeah, 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 I do remember that. Remember that time? I'm a fucking hero. Save that bee's life. I did save that bee's life. I mean, it was probably dead. Very quickly, but whatever. Which character do you consider to be the Tekken equivalent of Dennis, who I will always call Silver, because that's Dennis how my brain Seaver. reads it? <laughs> um, who would be the Dennis Seaver of Tekken? God, I don't know. That's a, that's a, that's a question, question for the ages. ages. Yeah, for the ages. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I might have to ruminate on that one for a while. Probably someone shit like Paul. Yeah, no, Paul is definitely the Seaver of uh, Tekken, 100%. Well, Wheezy's waiting for you to, to do a collaboration with Eyepatch. Well, well, they went on a date, did you tell everybody? Uh, no, some people know. I think uh, I posted it on Patreon. 
Um, they went for coffee, did a little nerd shopping. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We we walked around some uh, comic book shops and uh, nerd shops. He bought a, a figure for his. Uh, I can't remember what it was. It was some anime figure. Um, and uh, yeah, we had, we had a grilled cheese. We had coffee. I can't remember the last time the you took me out like that. Flowed like wine. <laughs> He's a good guy. It was a fun time. I enjoyed it. Well, in the nineteen ninety eight or those pants. That oh, she's in. Uh, no, not her. Oh, him. Yeah, okay. Because she's in uh, Aikido gear by the looks of it. That's some Sensei Seagal shit. It's beautiful. It is. I actually really like her it's design beautiful. in uh, Tekken Eight. I think they. I, I don't think it's Asuka's design was ever great in the other games there was always something just a little off about her but in tekken 8 i think they finally nailed her design <laughs> dubious lee says hope your cats aren't still des desecrating your berserker volumes that's what he does like it's his fucking job he will yeah. come in soon he will scream and then he will walk straight to the bookcase and if nobody watches him eat his food he will start to scratch that book i guarantee it it's you could fucking time that cat like L show cake. Am I attending any tournaments for Tekken 8? Have you seen how I've been playing tonight? I don't think I'd be welcome oh, at had, any tournaments. He has wings that like pop out of his coat. Uh, well, no. See, technically he doesn't. He's got wings on the back of his coat, but he also has a uh, Devil Jin as his alter ego, who actually does have wings, but doesn't wear a coat. Oh. Well, how would you really? I mean, yeah, that'd have to be a very yeah. couture tailored <laughs> coat. Oh my gosh, off the cliff. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Jesus. She need to see a chiropractor. Scrub man, John. This is fucking fluky. Fluky wins right here, I think. Seagal versus no Ashida. Seagal versus yeah. Ashida Kim? Well, I mean, Ashida Kim would probably just like ninja invisibility behind him and shank him or something like so or give him a cup of tea and then look deeply into his jade pools yes <laughs> a poisoned <laughs> cup of tea uh full, yes oh. yes full easy. everything he has on looks like a 90s boy band um was what was it 98 degrees the like were they the bad boy quote unquote bad boy I, one was it 98 no, degrees i don't know about them but he definitely looks like he could have been in a uh, five um I, is that an over here thing hey anybody remember the boy band five they had that banger slam dunk the funk hi nukinator hi nukinator how's it going man which euro server is the lobby on um i believe it's euro one i think what you think of the roadhouse trailer honest election posters i know oh, i had God, do i have to fight this guy yeah <laughs> you signed up for this yeah shit all right well i'm just gonna pick steve and have a laugh i'm um, sorry what did i think of the roadhouse trailer yeah it was fucking hilarious i didn't know that film was supposed to be a comedy my mom let me watch the original one when i was way too young i've never seen the original <laughs> it was in it like three hours long you everyone... yeah you won't let me watch it nah. i'm like we should watch roadhouse so something clicks in your brain and you're like no <laughs> Yeah. No, that's what I do with tremors. <laughs> Which one are you playing? A uh, fancy jacket or uh, I'm boxer? Uh, Steve. The Don't one with the, the yeah. yeah. The one getting his ass beat. Uh, have you played the fighting game that they have Se Seagal as a playable character? Was that like Shit Fighter or something? I'm guessing that's a no then. No, no, okay. I have not played. I did not know he was in any games, to be quite honest. No, that's the stream. Steven, Steven Seagal fights this three step flight of stairs. <laughs> 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 Walking down a step, my guy. Come on, man. You still sore about that, Fitty Books? I just remember the um, the opening scene in Roadhouse where the blind guy is playing the guitar and he's behind the fence and they're just fucking um, beer bottles at it, just smashing. Yeah, so I've never All right, fine. All right. Tomorrow night, we will sit down. 
and watch all 15 hours of Roadhouse. I do love Swayze, so we can do that, all right? I don't know if the uh, chat can hear how hardly I'm mashing the buttons in this, but uh, you're getting mashed. Oh, fluke. Yeah, another fluke. Uh, I just, I'm getting stuck against just the flukiest fucking people tonight. Jeff Healy. I uh, yeah, I do. I remember that name. He he. I don't know if he's alive or dead, but he was like a really really good guitar player, right? Jeff Healy. Yeah, the the blind guy from Protoss. Uh, oh, I, I, I understand that. I've never heard of him. He was a jazz guitarist. They actually won? Oh, we passed in 2008. Oh, yeah. oh so and he was actually win. won. Yeah. Oh, Nukinator called you a scrub. Yeah. I don't know if you know this, but I don't want no scrubs. Well, tough game. <laughs> no one <laughs> said. He's always hanging out the side of his... The best passenger friend. side of his best friend's ride, trying to holler at me. I wish I had a fucking best friend to... I thought I was your best friend, fucker. Yeah, but you don't have a car. <laughs> yeah, neither do you at the moment. Yeah, seriously. That's what I'm saying. I wish I had a best friend with a oh, car. Oh, yes. Rip, Carl Weathers. Oh, you man, got a, yeah. You got a stew going, buddy. Yeah. No, that, that was... That was that, sad. That it was, was very sad. sad. Yeah. He, he, Predator was, you know, integral part of my childhood, so Carl Weathers passing <laughs> hit me pretty, pretty hard. Okay. My... What is my opinion on your valentina obsession all right let's let's open this up for discussion okay <sighs> honestly i don't care we all have crushes on people who in who what i like to call people who aren't real as in people who you would never have a chance with so as long as he's not like sending her dick pics or his underwear or i don't know something fucking weird like that i, I don't care because i lost after fucking everyone if you weren't new to this my whole role sitting here in this chair is to thirst after whatever is on the screen. Okay? That's that's my role. That's how we work. So, it's fine. Again. And if she actually meets him and wants him, I'm not going to fucking fight her. She'll destroy me. And I like my face. That's how I feel about Valentina. So, that's how it goes. It's cool. We have it's an cool. understanding. We have an understanding that he can have Valentina. And if I ever get the chance to climb Chris Hemsworth or... Uh, Isaac or fucking Pedro or basically anyone, then I can do that. It's fine. It's all right. Okay, we got some extreme lag going on in this fight by the looks of it. Ooh, wing. I guess that would explain why I lost that last fight. No, this dude's probably got a oh, lag, that's why. lag switch. That's why. Oh, he yeah. cheats. Yeah. Like like yeah. the, the nitro tank in the yeah, car. Is that what it yeah, is? It's like yeah. a nitro tank for, yeah, for losers. Yeah, 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 yeah. You sound like my brother when he was like six. That the game cheats. <laughs> fucking game does cheat. <laughs> yes, obscure reference. I mean, if any hot, famous person is like, hey, because this isn't going to happen, I'd be like, yeah, we're getting on that. He is very handsome. You, Who is? You. Oh, thanks. I have to give you credit because you are a very handsome new Canadian. So, do I got to worry about you, Nuke? Do I got to worry about you? You I might fight. She could probably take you, Nuke. I'll cheat. I will cheat. I am the game. I will fucking cheat. In this one, you get fisted. Yeah, I feel like Scrupman John here is um, 
maybe a little overpowered for this lobby. Um, I'm Can just you looking, power up? Well, like Tekken Prowess, 99,366 versus Tekken Prowess, 6,000 <laughs> versus my Tekken Prowess, which I believe was 100. <laughs> so what you're saying is he level up, level up, level up. Yeah. He's, um, he's sandbagging. Is what we call in the, that, uh, the martial arts community. Is that what you call it? Yeah. Yeah. He's is that like the Illuminati, but for, for martial arts? arts. <laughs> yes. Okay. No, no. Sandbagging is just when you pretend to be, you know, maybe if you're you're hanging out a white belt longer than you really should, um, and you're and you're beating up the lower levels. I didn't realize that was a Triple H reference, Full Weezy, but What's if that makes Triple you happy, because I called myself the game, I said I am the game. Oh, that is, yeah. yeah. Oh, is it? Okay. If that makes you happy, Full Weezy, go with it, babe. So who wants to talk about the Vince McMahon shit? Literal. <laughs> uh, not, because I will vomit. Um, he, he deserves to die painfully and a fire. Oh. You know, I always knew Vince was a piece, piece of, of shit, shit but, but like, I had no idea he was literal fucking garbage trash nukinator does not want me to choke slam him so you're my you're my sweet irish butter man mm, don't get me started too late for that <laughs> you fucking wound her up now i'm over tired yeah yeah this is what happens when she gets tired um i Hey, I'm just going to call you AK-47 because I can't... I is it with the, the most all the numbers? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, what's the next documentary I'm making? Oh, I got I got big news. How did I not open with this? Um, so the next uh, video is about the lineal heavyweight UFC belt. Um, and it's, it's going well. There's like a half an hour of video completed now. And... The big news is, because the first fight in the lineal heavyweight belt saga is uh, Mark Coleman versus Dan Severn, um, I am going to be talking to Dan Severn, Dan the fucking beast Severn tomorrow. Um, we have a Zoom call set up, and we're going to uh, talk about uh, his match at UFC 12, um, his career, uh, that mustache, you know, all the good shit. You did actually like prep and write questions down, right? No, I didn't. <laughs> you were fucking sick. Yeah, I'm winging it. I am completely going to wing this shit. And, so, like, yeah, so what's your this. favorite color? Yeah, have you played Tekken, Dan? Do you do you know what Tekken is? Sandy's always here, New Canada. Sandy never left. Always. Do you want more water? Do you want a beer? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, am I surprised that 1FC is having so many fighters leaving the organization? Not at all, really. Is that the Saudi one? No, that's um, the, they're an Asian promotion. But it has seemed like they are a Ponzi scheme for roughly the last year. Um, the only... Uh, okay, I just got kicked. Um, the only thing they have going for them is their Muay Thai uh, fights, which are really good, to be fair. But their MMA is weak. Uh, the submission grappling, I don't think anybody really cares about that, to be quite honest. Um, I'm honestly just surprised that the uh, they're still going today. Um, what do I think of the Fury fight being postponed due to his cut, Charlie Adams? Um, I'm honestly not that surprised. No, yeah, Tyson Fury. Um, I'm not super surprised, motherfuckers, because um, I honestly didn't think he was going to do the fight anyway after the the Nganu fight. I thought he would take longer off after that. I apologize. That's Here fine. Thank you. Um, so, I don't know. I think the cut is quite kind of convenient. Okay, ask Dan why he never fought Don Fry after they both won Ultimate Ultimates. I will, and when he gets mad, I'm going to point him towards your house and say, this is the motherfucker that made me ask that question. 
as I noobled in Khan. It was running at two frames per second just because uh, whoever was playing there had fucking ridiculous lag and uh, was causing it to glitch out like that. A lot of bears. There are two bears on this. There is a panda and a uh, grizzly. I think he's a grizzly. Could be a yeah, definitely a grizzly. Brown bear. Yeah, brown bear. Stay away from the alpacas. Um, <laughs> Bva eleven. Dan is undefeated in the brawl for all. The stupidest idea in pro wrestling. Given what's come out recently, I am I no longer convinced that the brawl for all was the stupidest idea in pro wrestling. I think Vince McMahon's personal life was the stupidest idea in pro wrestling. What do I think of UFC 300 so far from the Irish Zombie? Um, I think it's underrated. I think a lot of people are... Certain people are shitting on it because there's a couple of women's fights on it. Um, so they're going to be down on it for whatever. But, like, if you looking at the card as it is, like, there's some fucking bangers on it. Like, it's a, objectively a good fucking card. Um... It's, and if you, again, if you look back at, like, UFC 200, 200 was a fucking dud. Like, it was a really, really bad card. Um, a 100 uh, was fairly mid as well. I mean, fucking John Fitch was in the main event of 100, so, like, people acting like 300 being, you know, not having Brock Lesnar versus fucking Don Fry and it is shocking. Uh, no, that's... It, it's a card. It's a good card. It was never going to be as good as people wanted it to be. Jay, that is what we want to hear. That is the energy we need people to bring, okay? I don't want to hear anything other than I like WMMA. Oh, okay. I wasn't going to pick June. I wanted to go with somebody else because I'm sick and tired of getting beat with uh, my main here. But um, I guess we're still clear now. Kuma is an Asian black bear. Ooh. Thank you. Obscure reference. Who is Living this? Obscure. The salt oh, pepper yeah. daddy. This is, this is your, your <laughs> man. That this is that fucking right in the curtains. What the hell is he? Okay, my cat is fucking up the curtains. Oh, no, he's right behind you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, trying to, I'm trying to not get my ass kicked, and this cat's not making it. By that easier. zaddy? You know yeah. that zaddy. You're her, yeah? Yes. She shouldn't be fighting him. She should be being nice to him. Come on, biscuit. Come on. Come on. When you come back in, I expect you to scream. Come on. You go. Ooh. Hi, the clown icon. I love that move so much. Rocco Taco says, do you think BKFC, which I don't know what that is, is doing better now? Um, I have not heard of a BKFC even doing an event at all recently. Oh, Hedgehog, you're right. He is a little Harrison Ford-esque. The guy in the silver suit. Victor. Yeah, he's A kinda... little bit. A little bit. But he looks more European, I think. Well, he's French. Oh, well, see? Yeah. There you go. Damn, Napoleon. You're good at this. No, I'm not really. <laughs> I'm pretty sure uh, Brando Commando is probably just using uh, Victor for the first time or something. Actually, because that's my first win all night. <laughs> How to sight we are bleeding, son. Is Victor what Conor McGregor is going to look like in, in a few years? Fuck no, clown icon. No, dude. <laughs> Thank not... you, Whopper J. Conor wishes. Yes, Conor's... Uh, uh, he's going to explode. Victor's not going to have the big coke head, uh, allegedly. Um, you know, he's not going to have that head muscle that Conor has. Not going to be in jail. Uh, allegedly, allegedly, possibly. I'm going to keep possibly. allegedly. Yeah, that... Allegedly doesn't apply there. Yeah. Oh, sh they gave her some jiggle. Uh-huh. Lily, the one that that 
kissed her cat. Yes, it is. Yes. She's got a sex re sex criteria kind of thing going on there. <laughs> she is also French, I believe. She is Regina George from Mean Girls, I think. What are your thoughts on the idea of introducing open scoring in MMA? Mm. I mean, anything that prevents travesties like uh, Mike Bell and the fifth round of Shevchenko v. Grasso, I'm down for. So, you know, if it can stop that, then yeah, but bring in open scoring. Okay, out of sight. Coffee versus tea, like in a fight, or what oh, we that's prefer? What this fight is. Oh, uh, oh, 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 oh. The girl I'm playing as is a coffee magnate, and Lily is obsessed with tea, so. Well, coffee all day. I mean, if you wanted to actually pick. Oh, and apparently she's from Monaco, so get it fucking right. Oh, fuck, sorry. She's a bougie bitch. She is. Yeah. She's got some good MMA moves as well. Mounted guillotine there. She's practical. She's got the short under the skirt. Yeah. You know? She's good at taking an ass weapon, apparently. Yeah. Fuck that one up, the flaming guy. Wait, which one are you? The pink? No, you're not the pink. No, no. I'm the one currently not winning. Jay would like to know, do you think takedowns should be worth more points? Yeah, well, fuck me. Uh, um, uh, yeah, I think so. I mean, it's a, it's a real fucking skill. Like, it takes a lot to take a human being who is resisting you down. I don't really know how much they are worth in scoring, to be quite honest with you. But, uh, Do you think Volk is coming back too soon? Yes, absolutely. He should have taken longer off. Um, he's been relatively active as well, so, you know, I just... Uh, I think he, uh, he should have taken a little longer off to recover. Did he get hurt bad? Uh, he got knocked out in his last one. And, oh, like concussion stuff? Yeah. Oh, okay. When was that? That was October, I think, right? Mm -hmm. And he's when is he fighting? Mm, like next week, I think. Oh yeah, that yeah. seems. Get ready for the next battle. I oh, hey, back was Paimon. Welcome back. Humans should uh, fight bears. Oh, he got a fish. Damn, that was insulting. I think. Yeah. I was... The Battle of Bear versus Cat Lady. It's like eighties biker bear. Uh, Mr. Giovanni Polio. Um, we actually you you missed it. We did just discuss the allegations against Vince and Brock, and our conclusion was that Vince is Satan in human form, basically. Are you gonna open it up for Americans? Um, yeah, eventually. Yeah, I think we'll we'll try and open up the lobby. To uh, to uh, everybody who wants or anybody who wants a piece of me, you know. I mean, you seem to be just you know leaving out Americans, <laughs> Napoleon. Sorry. Well, I mean, I am French, so or actually Corsican. Technically. What am I? You're here. I'm here. <laughs> I am here. Yes. YouTube punk. Hey, YouTube punk. How's it going, man? Good to see you again. Uh, creepy Hayachi has been getting his uh, his work in ever since Tekken 8 came out. Thank you again. I mean, it's the most beautiful piece of art in our home. It is. It's... Uh, you can hear how sincere I am about this. Yeah, yeah. Mrs. B <laughs> loves it. Loves, loves it. That's why I display it prominently <laughs> in our house. Show it, uh, show it off to uh, everyone who visits. You know. Seriously, right out of sight. Well, you're here. I mean, yeah, like usually. <laughs> uh, Guitar Zero. No, I, you know, actually, King is definitely not my main because I don't think I have ever once played with King. Believe it or not.
clown icon asks, what do I think of The Rock being pushed in almost everything sports? You mean now? like shoes and drinks and, and it's about <laughs> with these wet come take a dive. The Rock said that. <laughs> he did. He that. It wasn't part of me. Yeah. <laughs> um, I don't know. Like, I like The Rock as a wrestler. He was fun. He was, you know, and even as an actor, if like it, he's like, yeah, no, he was very charismatic. You know, he he was a huge part of the Attitude Era. Like he was a legend in the day. I find him a little insufferable nowadays. Uh, per, like if you see him in interviews and stuff, he's he just comes across as really, really fake. I don't know. I don't know how to explain. I haven't. I don't think I've really seen him in like any interviews or anything. You mean like since uh, he started doing the car movies? Yes, like yes. Fast and Furious, yeah, would that be yeah, the yeah. the whole Vince versus him versus... Not Vince, yes. Vin, Vin, no. Well, what the fuck am I thinking of? Vin Diesel. Oh, Vin Diesel. Thing, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, what? Um, yeah, no, I don't know. Anytime I ever see him in interviews or anything, or even like all the stuff that's on his Instagram, like it all just comes across as very forced and kind of fake. And I don't know, it just, yeah. And I'm not a huge fan of him anymore. Can Mr. Giovanni said, can... That be said that Napoleon and Josephine are the warmest voices ever since Poe and Monroe graced the steam store. <laughs> I don't know what that means, but it sounds kind of like a compliment. So I'm going to yeah, say thank you. Yeah, we'll take it as a compliment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, I know what the steam store is. I don't know what Poe and Mar Monroe is. Oh, God, yeah. Daniel Luzardo. It's kind of hard to choose who is the bigger piece of shit now between uh, Dana and Vince. Um, I guess we'll have to find out uh, one day when uh, All Dana's uh, internet is out. released. Yeah, uh, yeah. We'll be able to judge who the, the bigger fucking wanker is. Ooh, sparkles. But I guess Dana should probably enjoy his time in the sun as the uh, second worst uh, promoter in sports entertainment for a while. And that was a fluky win, flaming guy, just like you got over me. You gotta be not such a sore loser. We're gonna have to work on this. Fucking flukes. If you Everyone don't stop with the attitude, I'm taking it away. <laughs> I, will, I will turn this apartment around. <laughs> I'm gonna say, to quote my mother, I'm going to start swinging, and I do not care who I hit. Itoa McDowell. I think that is actually an incredibly accurate description of The Rock. He is an AI composed of inspirational Instagram quotes at this point. He really is. Oh, Ben, <laughs> I am American. Clearly you're new here. Uh, I'm from the East Coast. Oh, yeah, it's only a matter of time before The Rock gets into politics. I, I personally can't wait to see him run for president uh, 2028. Maybe we can get fucking Stone Cold as vice president. I might actually vote for that. If I could. You <laughs> <laughs> I'm, <laughs> saying, I'm, I'm talking for president of Ireland. Oh, ah, but maybe. Nah. There's a Keebler, a Keebler elf is literally the president here. It's a fucking Keebler elf, guys. Look it up. Look at him. Yeah, the president he of Ireland is actually a Keebler elf. He makes cookies in a tree. He's a fucking Keebler elf. <laughs> I'm not a Bostonian. How dare you? Yonkers. Yeah, I'm from Yonkers. <laughs> oh, Ben originally thought I was an Irish person faking to be American. So are we talking about like D4? Is that a D4 thing? An Irish person faking American. The American accent, yeah. That yeah. Will That's be like the a D4. D4 accent. No disrespect to anyone from D4. I'm sure they're not all like that, allegedly. But um, yeah, no, there's there's a section of Dublin that was famous in the mid 2000s for everybody talking with this really fucking bizarre kind of forced American accent. Uh, the Dublin 4 area. Uh, out of sight, you honestly, you're not far off. I'm from Connecticut, so literally smack in between Boston and New York. I think my accent probably falls more on the New York side of that than Boston. Sammy, do you want me to have a talk with those boys? What's what's going on? He wants his brothers to watch your, your channels, but they're not into the YouTubes. Oh. Do you want me to have a talk with those boys? 
You gotta get him into the YouTubes. I'm surprised to hear there are kids who aren't watching YouTube nowadays. Where were you born, Jay? I mean, not that Connecticut's that big, but... Yes, Ruin Zero. I am uh, from Wethersfield, which is just literally right next to Hartford. Ruin Zero, I bet you're glad you paid 70 whole dollars for this tonight, right? For the for what the game? Yeah, Ruin just popped back in today. To so. do this? Yeah. Damn, buddy, that fucking he's holding you down. <laughs> <laughs> well, yes, uh, not the way he doesn't go to. <laughs> I know, but like, just to do this. <laughs> well, that's what that's why I keep saying the Just Bleed crew is the greatest crew on YouTube, because that's the kind of shit that they do. Oh, thank you, Out of Sight. That's very sweet. Because our voices, we have cozy voices. We're like cozy Aww. gaming. Well, if it figures the amount of cozy gaming you play, True you story. would have a cozy voice. Ben C. TikTok has turned YouTube into your grandma's online video service. You're not wrong. <laughs> Just like the way uh, like Instagram turned Facebook into your grandma's social media site. Um, Facebook turned MySpace into your grandma's fucking social media site. Yeah, these things are all cyclical. Well, maybe not cyclical, because I don't see fucking MySpace coming back anytime soon. Unless, like, I am very, very <laughs> much mistaken. So, Sammy's brothers, who don't want to use YouTube, are 31 and 37, and they're old-school TV watchers. Do you know at 31 and 37 you are a caveman, basically? Because we are so young. So young, so by comparison young. to so 31 and 37. Okay, I don't know what's going up with the lobby here. Um, seems like we may have crashed or something. Um, because there's... Yeah, there's only one person in the queue to fight. So, um, shit, I might have to restart the lobby. Um, hang on a second. A queue is a line, if, I'm just if gonna, people don't know. Oh, no, hang on. Here we go. How do you work in IT? I don't do IT for Tekken. <laughs> I am not the IT guy for the fucking Mishima Zaibatsu. Uh, Luke would like to know what's the what's up with the trailer you put on YouTube not long ago? What, um... The uh, teaser trailer for the new video. Oh, 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 oh. That's what's up with it is that it's a it's just... teaser trailer for the video. There's not much more to it than that. Yeah, packed with uh, Paimon. It is young. It is. It is definitely young. Yes, YouTube punk. This man gets it. Long live Angel Fire. I had a fucking Angel Fire website back in the day. The hell is that? It was like GeoCities, but cooler. What the hell is GeoCities? Oh my god, you know GeoCities? I didn't have a fucking computer in the house for a long time. Because it was the devil's tool and it wasn't allowed. Also wasn't around to watch. We weren't allowed to watch the MTVs. The MTVs. The MTVs. With an S. Uh, even S35 Gaming, we are uh, also around that age, so, yeah, but yeah. Uh, do you know MMA on point? I'm a channel member, and they were saying in their member streams that they watch your channel. Really? Oh, yeah. Good for them. I do, I do know MMA on point. Um, they were one of the first kind of big uh, MMA channels that, you know, was on YouTube, really. Oh. So that's that's good to hear. So at what point are you going to be too cool for me? It's arguable that I was always too cool. Oh, is it? Yeah. 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 Wait, till, wait till we hang up this fucking stream. <laughs> are you going to see arguable? <laughs> I mean, the, the money they have spent on this leopard man's uh, wardrobe is just insanity for me. I thought I had drip, but damn. Yeah, and that's not even his best outfit. It's not. The the, the pimp suit, yeah. right, is, is the one. Oh, 
I, you know, I know he's a leopard man, but those abs. <laughs> Paper bag over his head. <laughs> well, I always figured there was a real man underneath him. Oh, I just assumed it was a leopard. And is that like a ripoff of Times Square? Because it kind of looks yeah. like it. Yeah. Oh, shit. Time to hit the panic button. Sorry, Rune. Oh, it is a mask. Well, I mean, now it's just all in my imagination. Ooh, what's under it? Yeah. Is he handsome? Or is he like a horrible, does he have horrible scars? Was he a victim of a fire? Like something well, like that? Well, you'd probably be better off not knowing. Yeah, it would be true. like the situation with Kane and the WWF. I, so I have to go for that. I'm going gonna, gonna to spill some tea here. Are you? My sister was obsessed with Kane uh, from the WWF for years. Kane was her guy. And this was before he ever took the mask off, so no one ever knew what he looked like. Um, he was just the big red machine. And then he took the mask off and kind of ruined her fantasy. So, Who's that guy that, that wrestles that I think is gorgeous? Oh, shit. It's all shit? <laughs> yeah, no, I ran out of time to select a character. I wanted uh, I wanted somebody else. I like Raina's hair. Raina's cool. She's, she's creepy Hayachi, reincarnated. Sure. Checks out. Or, I mean, like his daughter or some shit. I don't know. But oh, okay. She's basically, it's creepy Hayachi. But ah, in female form. Coffee. <laughs> you didn't answer me. Who's that guy that I think saw? Where? where? The wrestling guy. Uh, the one that he, he, he looks kind of wet all the time. Uh, Edge? Triple no, H? no. Now. Like, he's a now guy. Oh, Roman Reigns. Oof. It's Clock Cube, not Times Square, says oh. Out of Sight. <laughs> I don't know a lot of things tonight. It's a very practical outfit. For she, Friday. Yeah. Just in general. I mean, like the pants look loose and comfy. The leather jacket, probably restricting. Luke Wynn. Uh, is he allowed to have the Valentina Shevchenko body pillow in bed? <laughs> All right. So the rules with that is that is only allowed when I go away for yeah. like um, longer, uh, long, than, long, longer than like a day yeah. or two. So if I'm off, you know, wherever with girlfriends or I go back to America, then I don't want him to be lonely. So, yeah, we just put it on my side, spritz a little of my perfume <laughs> on it, put my brown panties and we just we call it a day. And I don't ask yeah. questions when I get home. No, no, I don't want to know. And Liquid Biden says his wife would also like to leave him for Roman Reigns. He's a fucking hot. You said that so I <laughs> See? Comes it just slips. Fucking hot. Huh? Fucking hot. Huh? Fucking hot. Huh? I'd roid him. <laughs> <laughs> Most Irish thing you've ever said. Yeah. I put me bag of chips down to roid him. <laughs> Panic button win. Know your place, bitch. Jesus. All right. What's his face? Oh. Yeah. Listen, Drake. I told you it's a don't ask, don't tell situation with this body pillow thing. Like we, we just. I don't want to know. You know, sometimes I'll just take the body pillow to the gym, let it get a bit sweaty, so it smells like I imagine she smells. Oh, that's hot. Yeah. <laughs> I fucking, I'm like, all right, well, I need to call a lawyer. <laughs> or a priest. Why well, every time we do a live stream, by like mid, I'm like, nah, nah, it's time to get a divorce. Yeah, yeah, yeah we had a good run. We had a good run, I guess. We almost made it to 12 years. Yeah, so, almost. Yeah, almost.
Oh god damn it, I keep hitting the wrong feckin' button because I'm on the wrong side of the screen. That was too much info out of sight, and I'm his wife. I didn't fucking know that. Her outfit's given like Buffy vibes a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Ben would like to know where on the. Oh, you fluky son of a! He's talking to you, Ben. <laughs> uh, he would like a hint as to I think where we're from on the north side. No, no hints. I don't need people turning up at my ass. And stealing his body pillow. Yeah. There's going to be a lot of people in line trying to take that body pillow now. It was a good game, Godhan, thank you. I, and I am obviously only joking when I'm talking about fluky wins and shit. Uh, it's just me being me. It's my coping mechanism for losing it. Yeah, so his family has a long history of being sore fucking losers. Oh, God, yeah. It's uh, it, him, the sister, the niece. Jesus Christ, like, I've never seen a bunch of people just be worse about things like that. <laughs> yeah. Whereas I am a sore winner. Yeah. Sure. I am not a sore loser. I don't care if I lose, but God, I will rub it in your face if I win. S35. What yeah. the fuck is that? That's Yoshimitsu. God damn, and what's she? That's, um... um who the hell? Oh, that's, uh, Shaoyu. She's just, no, it's just like, got, like, weird makeup. Oh, she's got a ghost of friend. Yeah. Oh, I want a ghost of friend. Ooh. Didn't you have ghost friends in Stardew? Uh, no, 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 they weren't friends. Oh, well, no, there was Krobus. He lived in the sewer, and he was your buddy. And then eventually you can become roommates, but I think you should be able to marry them. Edward Booth, how do you spend the patron money? Mostly on Biscuit, because he's a pain yeah. in the ass. Yep. However, this month, can I tell you what this wonderful man let me do? Okay, I'm, I'm flexing here, all right? I was allowed to get a pair of Vivian Westwood boots. Oh, my God. Do you have to work? No, no. Is it a work thing? Okay. No. I was allowed to get a pair of Vivian Westwood boots, which I got, like, massively marked down. But still... Like, seriously, dream come true for me. So, thank you. You are welcome. And to the patrons, I do thank you. The, um... Realistically, the Patreon money, um... It's oh shit money, usually. It's, yeah, it's yeah. it's like, oh god. The dry We had to buy a new dryer we this had month. We buy a new dryer because it broke down. Biscuit bought a fucking honey badger. My car has been in the shop for eight months. I've been without a car. As ridiculous as that sounds, that's yeah. These are all all the the fun things that a YouTuber a gets to spend adult. his fucking yeah. uh, Patreon money on. About the only fun thing that I've bought for myself in the last year with Patreon money was I bought a new graphics card. Um, you bought this game, which wasn't cheap, I assume. Yeah, this was like yeah. seventy bucks, yeah. and again, the only reason I was able to afford to buy it was yes. because patrons. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, Drake. It's I don't know. I I it's I don't know. Ben C. No, I am nowhere near Binglas or Blundalkin. Where, where's Bl what? <laughs> He's asking. Oh, Bling. Oh, Bling. Binglas or Blundalkin. <laughs> okay, technically, by American standards, we're not far from Blingus. Yeah, yeah. we're not far we're, from we're, Blingus, but we are not in it. I don't. If you're from there, I'm just fucking around. But like, no. You too, punk. Yeah, I would also like a creepy Hayachi body pillow, man. Dude, I'm leaving. <laughs> like, I'm out. I'm fucking out. You know, out. when I want to mix it up, I'll just, like, switch out. Uh, oh, yeah. Is, that, is, this, pillow is this supposed to spice head. up our marriage yeah, after basically. This is how you think of spicing it up, yeah, yeah? Yeah, I'm bringing another man in. His name is Creepy Hayachi. <laughs> and that's supposed to get... Mm, yeah? You've seen the man. 
He's got oh, those, those yeah. wings. I can hold on to it while I'm... Is that what we're... Yeah, you want to stir? I will take it so much fucking further. You know how this works. Wage 83. Yeah, they actually are building a new car at this point. Um, so <laughs> 2008. So here's how it goes. Long fucking story. The car hit the... Uh, got the, uh, the check engine light on it. And as soon as that came on, I knew I was never going to financially recover from this. <laughs> I brought the car in to get it checked, and they said, oh, you know, it's a problem with one of the fucking phalanges, whatever the hell. And it just keeps going from there. They were like, oh, well, it's, it's this problem. And then it was like, okay, well, you know, we can do a full engine rebuild, and it'll take about two weeks. And they were like, uh, or I said, yeah, okay, fair enough, two weeks. I can wait that long. And then every time I go into the shop... It's two weeks. They're like, oh, no, it'll just be two more weeks. And I've said, look, I'm taking the car back. Actually, no, at this point, I've been like, no, I'm actually done with we the car. We set it on fire. Shit. I don't want it anymore. <laughs> but the the guy, the mechanic, has such a way about him that every time I go in, he's there working on it. And I feel so fucking bad that I'm like, okay, man, look, you just keep working on it. So at the moment, I'm just... Uh, I just like use like a rent a car, so... Uh, Occasionally. Yeah. I mean, we can get around. It's not, not yeah. that big of a deal. You can walk across Ireland in like six hours. That's true. <laughs> I'm funnier than you. Let's <laughs> see you write a fucking three hour long video on Pride then. Sure. I, could, I will make it all up, but I could do it. <laughs> we are getting taken for a ride, Jay. Just not in our car. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, Randy, I think you were going to have to stop fucking torrenting uh, whatever the hell it is you're torrenting in the background, because every time you fight, there's fucking ridiculous lag. That bear is so cute. Does anybody watch the Nana Land TikToks? Because it reminds me of Mona. It's my new favorite thing. It gives me serotonin, and I love it. And I think some... Oh, Joe, do you know who Krobus is? Do you Stardew? Do you do the do? Look at that face! It's pretty oh. cute in the bear outfit, I'm gonna say. Who was the psychopath from Pride or Tough that wrote that fucking vile autobiography? Are we talking about Matt Hughes again? Matt Hughes. We're talking about Matt Hughes yeah. again. It always comes back to Matt Hughes. Bye, YouTube Punk. Was nice to see you. See you, YouTube Punk. Take it easy, man. Good to see you. Uh, Rune Zero. Well, I actually haven't paid any money to them, so they're not fleecing me. Um, but it, I am definitely getting fucked. By an old Irish man. Creepy. Oh, creepy Hayachi trained the bears. Is he good to them? Do they have a good quality of life? I don't think they do. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. hi, Vector. Hey, Zeddy. Okay, this cat does not listen. Must Why is she like, taking it out in public is my question. Know. You would have to be some kind of fucking maniac to take a cat. Uh, without it, it, a lead in an outfit. Like, I feel like her cat should be in an outfit. Or one of those little backpacks with the windows in Oh, that looks like a spaceship. Yeah. 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 Rune Zero, if I could give you any advice uh, in this fight, I would say mash buttons frantically, because that's been working for me all night. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> How's it? MS35 Gaming, whatever happened to the Street Fighter X Tekken game? That, uh, I know it kind of flopped when it came out, but I think it's actually had like a weird resurgence lately. I remember seeing videos popped up and my recommended about, you know, how 2023 is the year to play Street Fighter X Tekken. It had a bit of a glow up or something. Um, I think for the longest time it was unavailable because I had games for Windows Live built into it. And obviously games for Windows Live is fucking dead. So um, it couldn't be played at all. Um, so yeah, I think it's, I think, yeah, they might have removed games for Windows and it's actually playable and good now. 
Because it was a decent game. I played it a little bit. It was kind of confusing, though. It had that weird gem system. Yeah, it was a bit weird, but it was just nice having Street Fighter X taken. Yeah, the dart is fucking dodgy. Which saddens me, because I love taking the dart. That you like, that you like yeah. a train. He, yeah. he likes a good train ride. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm a simple man. I like... I like Fisting violence and trains. Whoa, let's okay. All right, add it, dude. You gotta think about the words coming out of your mouth. First of all, I got a body pillow. I like fisting violence. Uh, yeah, listen, I don't know what he does when the I'm not here. He's going places, man. I mean, he, places weird, I don't want to go. Weird. On the darts. Um, bu 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 do you like the menzingers? I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is either. Sorry, Sammy. Left, right. Kuma is Hayashi's favorite child, apparently. I didn't know. The bear. That. Wait, yeah, the yeah, brown bear, the, bear. the panda? No, uh, the brown bear. Oh. How come nobody's playing the pink haired girl? She looks cute. Which pink haired girl? On the bottom. Oh, she's a robot. Oh, robot. Well, I mean robots. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, actually, I've never played her. In my next game, I'll, I'll have a shot with her and just mash buttons and see what happens. Yeah, where is the new video, you simp? <laughs> that is a, just lovely. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Thank you, Cecil. Cecil. I'm too hard simping for to what? get the video. Just for everything. Like for everything? everything. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I, I simp for most things. Mm, mm, mm. He's a simp pimp over here. <laughs> <laughs> simp ain't easy. <laughs> please, please start calling him that because now I'm going to fuck with him. Again, this is where that whole nine to five job that pays the mortgage gets in the way. Yeah. 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 Unfortunately, I mean, like, I guess it's good and bad, but in my nine to five job, I have been somewhat kind of <laughs> non monetarily promoted. Um, but I basically have uh, a shitload more responsibility now. Um, and it's uh, meant it's been a lot harder to make time for the videos, unfortunately. But until such a time as YouTube is uh, making me the same amount of money as my 9 to 5 does, that has to take priority, sadly. But the new video is coming along well. Like, there's a half an hour done for anyone who's just joining us. Um, I'm talking to Dan fucking the Beast Severin tomorrow. Um, for, probably, that sounded like you were a little angry about it, which I'm thinking is game rage, but you might want to dial that back. Yeah, yeah it was just game rage. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so no, the new video is coming along very well. There's a lot done. There's still a lot more to do. Pretty professional. Yeah, yeah. Oh, the Simpinator. Yeah, that doesn't really work. You, uh, who were you? You got your ass kicked. No, I was the cat. I'm you were the oh, you were the cat. <laughs> that cat. So I'm look at that cat's it. necklace. I mean, that cat is stylish. If Kazuo was in the UFC, would the EWGF be allowed? I don't know what EWGF is. Oh, okay. Sorry. Sorry. Um, Toe McDowell, yeah, I was also uh, disappointed every time Eddie Gordon didn't do a fucking capoeira kick in the UFC. Because I cannot see that man's name and not think it's Eddie Gordo. If I don't introduce myself as the simp pimp. Yes, I agree. <laughs> I agree. I actually think you should get a business card. I'm going to get that tattooed on my fucking forehead. Never mind the business card. <laughs> I mean, so many things that yeah, I will yeah. have to bring to the lawyer when I take yeah. everything. Yeah. yeah I'm going to get uh -huh. that on my mm -hmm. tombstone. Mm -hmm. Here mm -hmm. lies the mm -hmm. simp pimp. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, thank you, Mr. Giovanni. That's sad, but sweet. What do you say? You guys are amazing and make me nostalgic for friends I lost. Yeah, well, be always awesome thank you mr giovanni and ben if biscuit fought a badger biscuit won the badger lost we also lost because the time he did do some shit like that it that cost us what like 500 
That was a, on Patty's Day weekend, like five, uh, yeah. six years ago. Yeah, that was a Patty's Day weekend. Nightmare. So all the vets were closed. We had to go across the city. Yeah, take him to like a specialist vet in a university to get him checked out. and Just simp responsibly. Yeah, just um. simp responsibly. <laughs> and the vet took one look at him and was like, I've never seen a cat. <laughs> it's fucked up before my whole life. <laughs> Biscuit was like, yeah. Biscuit was like, I did that shit. Like, when I say Biscuit is the Vanderlei Silva of cats, that is not a fucking exaggeration. He is the most violent fucking cat. He wakes up from a nap to bite you and then just goes back to sleep. And always has. And he's 12. I want a fucking game all night. I don't know, dude. <laughs> I feel like someone slipped us drugs. I don't know. I'm a little like yeah. a little woozy over here. Like something's on. wrong. Me. Like a taking effect. I feel drugged. Oh, the electric wind god fist. Okay, yeah. No, I believe the electric wind god fist would fall into the same category as twelve to six elbows. I think Pippin, I think we've been to the Rahini vet, I think. Or was vet. was the Rahini vet the one where Puddles when he took they thought he was homeless yes. and he, it, that was yeah. it right? Yeah. So one time uh, Puddles decided he needed another family and he started hanging out with this actual feral cat. Uh, so the neighbor that was feeding them thought he was feral as well, which he definitely is not. And he got kidnapped and thank fuck we um, microchipped him because we got a phone call like two days later and he was just hanging out in the vet's office. He does that shit all oh, the time. Like, yeah, he does. Ever since he's, he was a kid yeah, and yeah. Puddles has been sneaking into other people's houses and <laughs> making himself at home. Well, on the sleep on their pillows or in their wardrobes, you yeah, know, whatever. Yeah. There was a period of time for about a year when every day I would get home from work. He'd have to go pick him up like he was in crush. Yeah, yeah, I had to walk around to the neighbors and knock on their door and be like, hi, can I get Puddles? Can I, can I have Puddles <laughs> back, please? So then I'd like make him cookies, not the cat, I'd make the people cookies and stuff. Nukinator, yes, I am a sensational simp. I mean, if you're gonna simp, simp hard. So, you know. She I only do. likes me for my simp, simp juice. juice. Ooh. Ooh. Let, let it loose. loose. Let it loose. He's drinking, but I'm not. <laughs> Imagine living with this all the time. It's not that bad. No, I don't know. Could be worse. Yeah. Um, out of sight, our other two cats are, are, are they're quite chill. Like, I think Knockwood, they've only been to the vet a handful of times in their lives for little things. Biscuit just is a nightmare. Just a nightmare. And squ Squizzles. Squizzles. I kind of call Puddles that now. It's a good cat. It is it's actually a very good cat name. Um, he has watched too much Tekken. Ooh, Ben. I'm going to go in and be like, yo, I'm Mrs. Blown Apart. Yes, Drake, please do not break into our house. I don't want to find you asleep in my wardrobe on my towels. I don't think this mic is made for high-pitched singing out of sight, so that, that was probably why. Why? What happened? It's, he said it made a weird sound. It was probably us singing, but no. Uh, yeah, yeah, I don't know, man. At this stage, I've given up trying to set up the fucking mics for streaming. It's a pain in the balls. It really is. So stern. Like, I put a limiter on the microphone so that, in theory, it should not clip and distort once you go over a certain decibel level. And he has but... to do that because I'm loud. <laughs> no. Yeah. Because it sometimes happens to me. D does it? Occasionally. That one time I called Dennis Seaver a bum-ass bum, it clipped, and yeah, there was a lot of distortion. It was very loud. I want a ghost to follow me around like that. Oh, does anybody play Stardew Valley? Because I'm super pumped for the Haunted Chocolatier when it comes out in 15 years. But Stardew's getting an update. Yeah, 1.6 is coming out too. No, nobody's going to see me for a while. There's new people to romance. Oh, well, you already romanced the entire town. I did town, romance so. the entire town, yeah. But I haven't done the thing where you romance the entire town at the same time, and then they have an intervention. Thank you, the flaming guy. Oh, thank you, Flaming Guy. I appreciate it, man. Um. Oh, yeah. No, it was cool to play with you, too, man, even though they were all fluky wins that you beat me with every time. Um. 
Hopefully next time, you know, you skill up a little bit and get on my level and you can beat me without fluking. Um, so I look forward to it, man. You know, you talk a lot Go with God, of shit. Senpai. Uh, Joe Krobos is life. I think you should be able to marry him. I like I like when you find him in the corner and he's like, oh, I took a screenshot of it. I can't remember. He says something like really like like existential dread about how he's just going to sit in the corner and stare or some stuff. And I'm like, yeah, me too, buddy. Full Wheezy, the uh, the full version of Real Irishman is coming this year. Um, just watch this space. I'm gonna get a record deal or something. It, it's yeah. it's coming, yeah. Okay. You know, it's in production. I have the the lyrics are down. Uh, just you've laid. You've called Riza. You've called Riza. He said he's he's down. And right. Is a yeah, old dirty, dirty bastard. bastard. Inspector, Inspector Deck. Deck Rake Rake on, on the chef. The uh -huh. You got. You got. Have any MMA fighters ever taken issue with something you've said about them? Well, none of his bones have been broken yet, so I think that's a good... <laughs> yeah, no, as far as I know, the one cool thing that happened was uh, recently, um, the chap... Oh, God, I forget his name. Dude, nice! <laughs> <laughs> it's late, and I've been drinking. Um, the guy who got kicked in the balls really badly. Oh, he's on your Insta. Yeah, yeah. Um, he won the uh, the Keith Hackney Award in the end of year video. Um, somebody sent him the video where I gave him the award for best uh, nut shot, and he uh, yeah he he commented back to say you know he was very honoured to have received that award, which was really fucking cool. I thought Victor Victor yeah Victor Henry. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Rick Meister, have I played Yakuza 8 yet? No, unfortunately, um, I wanted to. It was basically a choice of getting Yakuza 8 or Tekken 8. And I knew I wasn't going to have time to play Yakuza 8 uh, while was working on the new video and actual work. Um, so I figured Tekken would be a better buy because I can just dip in and out of this real quick. So... Uh, my WhatsApp is blowing up and they're drinking. It doesn't make a lot of sense. <laughs> if you need to go handle that. No, it's literally like, blah, 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 blah. can't wait to catch up. I don't know what. Mm. Sorry. Uh, uh, there's a lot of drama going on in the friend group that I can't get into. Yeah. I just can't for legal reasons. So, um. Well, Joe, we'll say no more. We'll yeah, move yeah, on. Yeah, we'll move yeah, on with yeah, that. Yeah. Hello, Mandrell211. Welcome. Oh, and um, you know, other bizarre, blown apart news that, you know, I never thought I would ever say in my entire life is that one of my patrons is a famous Netflix actor who, but we won't tell you who, who I can't don't, mention. Don't, no, no, no. Um, I don't want to give their name out without their say so, so I'm not going to say. But um, they have said they are filming their uh, season two of their hit Netflix show. And that if I can make it to filming at any point between now and June, I can get a role as a background actor. So look out for your boy, Napoleon Blonapart, um, standing around in the background of a Netflix show soon, possibly. Ish. <laughs> Ish, maybe. I would like to play Sandy. Yes, we'll see if we can get Sandy in there. Joe Bernard, thank you. Do I have a plan to distract Brendan Shaw with a simple puzzle when he finally finds you? Like, you know, the nail with the circle thing around it that substitute teachers would bring in? Like, yeah. <laughs> Either that or I'll just, like, leave a trail of, like, little chocolates, like, leading, you know, away from my house, and uh, he might follow that or something. I would follow chocolate into a van, mar van marked puppies. <laughs> Good to know. Good to know. You already have me in the yeah. house. There's chocolate and kittens in here. I'm good. Um, the, so what does chat think of um, the shocking news 
that Brandon has finally quit comedy. I mean, is it possible to retire from a job you never had? Is that a bit like me saying I'm dumping Valentina? Oh, out of sight. What do I think of Persona 3 Reloads OST? I haven't gotten a chance to play it yet. It only came out yesterday. And I was working on the video all day yesterday and today. And then trying to organize the Dan Severin interview. So yeah, I haven't had a chance to actually play it. Um, but I will eventually. And hopefully it's OST is as much of a banger as uh, 4 and 5. I apologize. I apologize. Just, uh, you know. I mean, just, I just being pulled in so many directions. You are quite the popular I'm so popular. Person, really. I'm going to say Squizzles. That's how I'm going to pronounce your name. If we get a puppy, we will name it Squizzles. Yeah, Jun uses a lot of weird Aikido stuff, but I'm gonna allow it. Do you have much of a choice? <laughs> Not really. No, okay. Is that one dressed like a like an old timey not a scribe? Uh, no, no. Um like Dandelion. Reminds me of Dandelion from The Witcher. What are they called with the singing? Bard. Thank you. So Hayachi has four kids and an adopted son. Kazua has two kids. How many will Jin have? And if a train leaves Boston at 345 going 7,000 miles an hour, and then a butterfly flaps its wing while a dog sneezes, how many ice cream scoops will I get? Three. Great. Why are Asuka's hands so big? That seems to be a thing with Tekken. Everybody's got big hands. Out of sight. That is a bizarre thing. So apparently uh, Die Hardman's actor follows uh, Out of Sight on Twitter. Um, who was his actor? I don't know. Was that not Guillermo del Toro? I thought del Toro was uh, Die Hardman in that game. Yeah, the what? Yeah, Guillermo del Toro? Like the guy it's, Guillermo, it's a, Guillermo it's del Toro? Whole thing. It's, it's a, a whole thing I don't know about. Yeah. Please just read this one for me. That's love. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Whose voice is way louder than the game and spooked you? That's an outfit. That belt. Those pants. That hat. Whizzles M Cornish. Don't be, don't be scared, homie. Um, I literally never played Tekken against anything but the AI. Um, or, you know, 
15 years. Uh, so, you know, this is my adventure into the world of actually playing against people who are vastly, vastly better than me. And to be honest, I'm not loving it, <laughs> if I can be brutally honest. You should be actually, do you know what we should do during a live stream? What? Just play Uno. Mm. <laughs> you see how fucking evil we are when we play Uno. Oh, I, yes, I was, I, I spooked you. So sorry. Dude, did you spook? I don't know. There's somebody. Brain. Brain strain. What? Which is what I have most of the time. Do you want something? Beer. No. Okay, it's fine. You don't need me to wait on you. No, no. Yeah, Strickland, would you like me to get in the kitchen and get your beer? Should you, oh, you don't want me to start that shit? Okay. Maybe I do belong in the kitchen. Oh, Benicio Del Toro. God, I loved him in the 90s. How far are you getting in jujitsu? Or how far did you get in jujitsu? I guess is the better question. What belt? You don't know what belt you are, right? Um, so how far did I get? I was close to blue belt level. Um, basically, the gym I was at was the kind of gym where you had to pay for uh promotions which i didn't like um so they would have these promotion days you know twice a year kind of and you had to go along and pay like 20 bucks for to get a stripe on your belt or whatever i missed every promotion day so it basically meant that i spent a full year of training at my first gym without ever getting a stripe even though i was training like you know three days a week with a open mat on saturdays kind of um and then after that, I moved to like a no gi gym. So I never, like, I, I have never been properly graded. Um, but yeah, no. So I am a white belt, but um, I'm a white belt who has about three and a half or four years worth of training under that white belt. So I'm I'm experienced enough. But yeah, I mean, you couldn't kick my ass, but like, yeah. Devil Jim, what are you doing after this fight? <laughs> Uh, Fluke, LKZ, Tekken 8 does have a lot of really good single-player stuff, man. The, uh, the single-player story mode, uh, the main story is absolutely batshit insane, and it's probably the most fun I've had in a single-player uh, fighting game ever. And Steven, the dude, I agree. Um, like, I'm obviously not a great Tekken player, um, but when you fight somebody who is around the same level at you, it feels absolutely fucking fantastic when you're, you know, if you're playing as Steve or whatever and you're, like, juking and jiving around the place and landing nice body shots and stuff and the two of you are just kind of vibing like that, it, uh, it feels good. But when you're getting absolutely spanked and constantly air combo to death, it's not great. Out of sight has to head off. Um, he'd like to know if he should train Muay Thai. Out of sight. Yeah, I would, man, definitely. I went to a Muay Thai gym during the summer, and I would have liked to actually take it up. I just went for an introductory class, you know, um, but just the timetable meant that I couldn't go. Um, it was just the, the hours didn't suit my job. But even the introductory class, I was it was a lot of fun and you know the instructors were great and I basically spent forty five minutes just throwing Muay Thai knees at a heavy bag um and being constantly corrected on my form. But it was a lot of fun and you know, I I'd say go for it, you know. It's a it's a cool it is it's one of my favorite martial arts. I, I love uh, watching Muay Thai. Uh Nunkinator said you're a white belt in the streets, but baby you a black belt in the sheet. Oh, oh. oh. Tell me more. Uh, you want me to? <laughs> Where do you want Nuganator to? What, what are we doing here?
squizzles. Yeah, I mean, it wasn't a McDojo. Like, the, the trainers were legit in the gym. Um, and I I learned a lot. Like, uh, like I said, I mean, I was in that one gym for a year. And, like, I really fucking learned a lot. Um, but I just really took issue with the fact that you had to pay, essentially, just to get a fucking stripe on your belt when you were paying... Uh, at the time, it was like 90 euros. It was expensive. It was 90 euros a month to be in the gym. And then they want you to pay an extra fucking 20 just to get, you know, a promotion or whatever. Like, that to me is bullshit. Like, just fucking promote your goddamn uh, students. Like, And what is it that they're they're charging you literally for the stripe or for the, the whatever? Because what they have to stitch it on. No, no, no. It was a piece of tape. They literally oh. wrap a piece of oh. tape around the black bit on your belt. Um that's why I kind of enjoyed Nogi more because there's like I went to Tenth Planet and trained Nogi for uh, about a year and a half, and there's none of that bullshit there. It's just you just fucking put on a rash guard and shorts and you roll, and that's it. Ah, oh, Sammy boy, thank you, man. You um, have a good night and yeah, good sleep. You go pass out, homie. Thank you. Good shit. Ooh, that that was spooky. <laughs> spooky, scary skeletons. Oh, she got a robot friend. Yeah. With Ooh, no, that's uh, that's Moku Jin. Is a it a little wooden man? Oh, like a Pinocchio, kind of. Yeah. He's kind of cute, but I prefer the ghoster. Also, get away from the damn llamas. Or oh, no, those are all packs, I think. So apparently it seems that this is common. Yeah. The, the charging for the belts. I don't know. I just... Good night, Sammy. Take it easy, Sammy. It is not a practice I, I like. And good night, out of sight. You've been on for almost two hours and you still haven't an open for America or the rest of the world. Oh, shit, okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, well, you know what I will probably do after this is, um, maybe just, uh, I'll just go back to just regularly playing and not streaming. I'll just open up a lobby and, um, we can all just play without listening to me chat. Oh, fuck me. I really hate being on the right hand side in this game. You forget who you are. Oh, like I'm, when we play Bubble Bobble? I'm pressing the wrong button. It's all fucking manic and you, side, can't, yeah. you can't figure out where you are. Do you watch Evo or TWT? Uh, no, not really. I am honestly not really a big fighting game guy um, outside of. Uh, my single player Tekken really like I said I used to play Street Fighter 4 pretty heavily online back in the day but um, I had to give that up because you know it was ugly it it, it, the, it, yeah, taking so, you places you it, didn't need to be taking me to dark dark places <laughs> Street Fighter 4 did when was this? this was before we met oh. or well no it was shortly like very shortly after we met like within like I think Street Fighter 4 came out in like February of 2009, so we weren't even living together. But we were dating. Yeah. Is that a Kerr Coffee Company up there? Yeah. <laughs> what do alpacas have to do with coffee? His farm. He, does he have an alpaca Eight farm? Eight days a week, I'm brewing coffee. Seven days a week, I'm brewing coffee. You too. Five days a week I brew coffee. So, Do you feel that? So like your soul? So eight times a day I'll be brewing coffee. Actually, that's at not... New Orleans farm. <laughs> that's how you live your life, then, yeah? Because yeah. pretty yeah. much that's how it works in this house. That's very nice, big fluffy husky. Do you own a big fluffy husky? 
Can I pet it? It would be cool to meet a celebrity. Oh, oh, honey. <laughs> I'm not a celebrity. Let's, let's be real. There's aliens in the background. Well, now I'm going to look at it till I have a fucking seizure and stare. I could live there. Where is this? Could we live there? Peru. Oh, good night or day or whatever, wherever you are, my friend. S35 Gaming. Oh, and we will stay sexy. You do the same. Yeah. Oh my god, I want to fight. And you're going to cleanse the world of evil and corruption. Yep, yep, of yep. coffee. Big coffee. That's what it is. Oh, she got a little burb. Waiting for a member to return. I wanted to have really like gravitas. <laughs> All right, are you gonna post a lobby code here or what? Um, there is no lobby code. Um, yeah, just the name of the lobby is just bleed. Um, if you search for it, you should be able to find it. I think. Uh, the flaming guy. I'm pretty sure in Wicklow. Excuse me. Which is kind of, it, it's like outside of Dublin, there is um, an alpaca farm you can go and like hang out. And yeah. yeah there you is, you yeah, do a little yeah, trick and yeah. pet them and stuff. Yeah. S35 Gaming. Take care, man. Goodbye. Dubiously, you have a good night or day. Um, Ethan Standard, have I watched Hajime no Ippo? Uh, no, I haven't. Um, I keep meaning to because I've heard it's a really good, I love uh animes that incorporate real life martial arts into them like um kangan ashura and stuff like that um so one of these days i will finally get around to watching hajime if coffee is evil and corruption i'll stay evil i say that about most things back with paima I really dig her hair. <laughs> yeah, brain is brain is pretty. It's hot, very cute, considering she is creepy Hayachi in female form. Okay, so see her, I could get down with, but like Hayachi, if you want a good body pillow, her, I don't know. Like we can talk, maybe. But you heard it here first, chat. If I get a rain a body pillow, that's, you know what? Cannot be mad at me for it. I, well, I can a little bit. It just does not go with the aesthetic, the witchy vibes we have in in our house. It no. just really doesn't. <laughs> Is Baki the anime of with all the abs? Yes. Like the with with it's Zeus and that one yeah. with Zeus yeah. and the, the what's the one with with the lizard heads? Do Dodi Dora Dora Dora, 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 Dora the Explorer. Yeah. 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 <laughs> We're just gonna call it Dora the Explorer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Love your videos, especially your editing style. Ever consider expanding beyond MMA? Uh, Shadow, if things work out, that may be a possibility, but that's all I can say. Yeah, maybe. That's all maybe. I can say. The things, there are things in the works. Everything. We're moving, we're faking, yeah, you know. We're, we're doing all kinds of things. Back alley deals and handshakes and... Uh, it's weird though. For the longest time, I did. I always kind of assumed that um, it would be something video game, game related, related that yeah. I would do that would, you know take off because i've been making video game videos for since 2006 and they all sucked ass basically they were garbage low effort crap and i wondered why they never took off um so it is unusual to me still that mma was the one that did it um but i would like to do something gaming related at this point point. Um, although i do feel like maybe i've been a bit out of the loop uh, for a while that i I wouldn't have the, the depth of knowledge of gaming memes that I do of MMA memes. Raina, would you ever fuck off? Fuck nah. Her, bitch. Hey. <laughs> Hi, Stacy. Uh, you're going to call me Josephine. Obviously, that's not my name, but it's a pretty badass name. It is pretty badass. Yeah, it's a beautiful name. Or Joey, for short. We, we could do that.
have I seen your first YouTube video that made it big? I'm in the room when he's making them. What was your first YouTube video that really could make up big? That got big, bitch? Yeah, like the first one that you went, oh shit, I'm, I'm guessing. The, uh, clown, the, one, the rousey correct? ones. The rousey one. Yeah, that was the first Head one. movement. Yeah. I know the name. Oh yeah, crack your neck. I feel that. No, Josie works. I think that's actually my name on YouTube. And I have pussy cats. Josie and the Pussycats. And Josie and the Pussycats. Y'all don't get that reference, then you're too young. I don't. <laughs> well, yeah, but you're not American. That's a cartoon. Do you know Tim Rogers? He's a video game reviewer? No. No, I do no. not. The video on the death of MMA video games would actually be good, Rune. Um, especially with how bad the UFC games have gotten in recent years. Have they always been bad, though? No, there were some good ones um, back in the day. Um, like on the Xbox 360 had a couple of good ones. Oh, or, well, 360. It, yeah. And then I, like, I have thought about just doing a video about something like that, but it's kind of like... Would you have to buy them and play them? No, well, yeah, yeah you would have to do yeah, that. Yeah, but yeah. you've also got to worry that, like, you know, now that, like, the YouTube videos are actually helping us eat, mm. it's like, well, if I put out a YouTube video oh, that's about bombs. fucking video games and yeah. people aren't going to watch it, then that's, you know, two months of wasted time, essentially. Are these outfits, man. I don't even... Jesus, look, look at her. Is over look at her. She's look at her. She looks like me going to the grocery store. Yeah, seriously. That's like the most... Casual. She's picking the kids up from school. She's got, going to talk to the Homeowners Association. Yeah, maybe making a run yeah. to Home Depot. What is this? And just on the way there, she got uh, piled drivered by a man in a cowboy a luch luchador. luchador. <laughs> Hey, it's a lot. It's a lot to look at. Packed with Paimon. Are we talking the cartoon from um, I, with the cartoon? I think started in the seventies, or the the movie with what's her face? This is your brain on drugs from the nineties. A southern accent? No, Stacy. <laughs> Quizzles, uh, WWE 07 was definitely not the last good one. Go play EA MMA on an Xbox 360 or PlayStation emulator or something. It's actually fucking great. It is really good. It's got fucking Hicks and Gracie in it. He's one of your trainers and he delivers his lines with like all the intensity of somebody reading a fucking menu in a McDonald's. It's, it's fantastic. Oh, he thumbs down you. Oh, oh. Was that the, you? The, or no, that wasn't you. You're not fucking around. Respect coming off, King. Just cause packed with Pyman, I'm sure. Could you ever make a video about something you're not passionate about? No, yeah, I don't think you'd have the attention span. No, no, not at all. Um, it's yeah. I, I think the only reason the MMA videos have worked is because it is something that I have an extreme passion for. Um, like, I could make something about some shit I don't care about if it was just for money. Like, good money. Like, you're like, I would sell out for the right amount yeah, of money. But it wouldn't be very good. <laughs> no. It's because you're, like, I'm so immersed in MMA that, you know, I know all the fucking memes, all the stupid little weird quirks oh pretty, look at her yo she's she's fabulous mm -hmm. um, yeah no yeah i think you you definitely have to be passionate about it again it's probably one of the reasons why the video game videos that i made for the first 15 years failed because they were low effort just and i cared about video games i liked them but, but it was a waste of time yeah that was before people made money on youtube yeah, yeah yeah but like so it was it was low effort you just kind of shit something out in the hopes that it would you know maybe go viral but uh that was about all you could hope for uh, and there was there was no effort to it there was no passion uh, yeah so it, it's understandable as to why they all failed that was quick Mm. 
interestingly enough, one of the only video game videos I ever did that did well was a compilation video of all the sex scenes from The Witcher 2 <laughs> piled into one. So that's what you did with your time, yeah? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, how about that Christina Hendricks video? Want to talk about uh, that? Oh, do, do, that wasn't no, a video game. That, that wasn't a video that's game video. <laughs> that wasn't a video game video. <laughs> there was passion behind that. There was definitely passion behind that. You, you fucking jackass. <laughs> <laughs> And I will, I will never let you live that down, no, ever, no, ever. You, I've been banging on about this for like fucking 15, 15 years. years. No, 15 years, she will never live it down. Years. My memory is long, except not my not my actual short-term memory. That one's real bad. <laughs> uh, thanks, Shinzu. Yeah, I'll look up uh, Tim Rogers. There's a few kind of long-form uh, video game guys I watch uh, occasionally. Um, I have not heard of him, though. I really don't like how bad he's beating her. Her outfit is so fab. Look at the heels. Look at look at that, man. Yeah, she got that funky hand, though. Yeah. Uh, well, monster hand. It's like Jeremy Beadle or something. I don't know what that means. Hand. Monster hand. If anybody in the chat gets that reference, congrats. <laughs> you are as old as me. Kind of reminds me of the uh, Darksiders. Yeah. In his hand. Yeah, he yeah. had, he yeah, had yeah, a big yeah. wonky hand. Well, no, it was a gauntlet. Yeah, yeah, but it looked all like kind of yeah. like that. You know, you can pour the whole thing into the glass at once, which I mean, I fucked it up, but that's how you do it. Well, not it, I mean, it fits. I'm babbling. I am fucking out of it. I'm okay. No, I don't care. Like we stay on this, no big deal. Just uh, we'll, I'm a little like Bleh. we'll finish up soon. And, uh, soon. I'll, uh, what I'll do is I'll I'll finish the actual stream soon, but I will keep playing and we'll keep the lobby open and and he anybody else who wants to back on me. anybody else who wants to beat the shit out of me is more than welcome to to join. Can I beat the shit out of you? I I still think I might beat you at Tekken. I wasn't talking about Tekken. <laughs> <laughs> Don't threaten me with a good time. <laughs> I mean, you like tough girls. You like the tough girl archetype. Do, do you like want me to... Tough girl yeah, you want me to, I don't know, fucking pretend? Okay, That's I didn't think so. Excuse me. Oh, there's a UFC tonight? Oh, yeah. There's a fucking UFC every weekend. Yeah, I completely forgot there was a UFC, but clearly, you know, this stream is way better than, oh, God. than the I UFC, mean, which so is so much more entertaining, here. way more yeah, famous. Yeah. <laughs> Who's fighting against me? Roman Delize and somebody? Good night, Ruin. No, oh, take it easy, Ruin. What, what is happening? Oh, wait. Ghosters. Ghosts? Ghost ninjas? Who's a bird? This seems unfair. A little bit. Yeah. Little bit. What are the numbers? Oh, yeah. One hundred eighteen thousand v zero. <laughs> zero. Yeah. I think you we got know. this. God hand. You can do it, man. I'm rooting for you. The teddy bear and hearts in the corner say so you can do it. Has it always had like little kawaii touches? Um. No. That's no. Like a relatively new, new thing. thing. In the last couple of games, you can customize your, uh, your energy uh -huh. bar to have like these kind of things. You're getting your ass kicked. That guy's gonna stand over him and go, You gotta knock nah, the fuck Ra out. Raven's got this. You can do it, God. Kenny, hand. look at the thing. Feel the Tekken prowess flow through you. You're whopping zero points of Tekken prowess. Good night, General. Which is more than me. Oh, no, it's not actually. I've got 100. Take it easy, General. Oh, he's got stupid mohawk, like uh, the thing. Do you follow any weird Irish only sport? No, you really don't. No. And I, what would be an only Irish sport? The only Irish. <laughs> The only Irish only sports I can think of would be like Ga. curling and Gaelic. Yeah. Ga. And Ga is Gaelic. GAA yeah. or Ga. Ga. That's how it's pronounced. Ga. Excuse me, Ga. Yeah. And I don't watch either of those. Can we talk about the rugby? Can we talk about the men in the rugby with those fucking thighs? I'll just take a break. You do my God. You want you want to watch sports and you want your girlfriends and wives to be happy? No, let it be rugby. Just tr trust me, fellas. Trust me. Oh, Anton, music critic, get the Jeremy Beadle reference. Uh, 
Um, B Vod, the UFC card on right now has been Ooh. very apexy so far. Yeah, man, I don't know what it is with the apex cards. They have been really slipping lately. I think. I mean, the apex cards were always kind of, you know, it took a lot to get used to the uh, the empty arena and whatnot. But I think the first few of them were they actually put some effort into them. But now I feel like the UFC are just like you know. We need any old oh, shit. Sorry, 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 sorry. The UFC were just like, we need any old shit this weekend. Let's just like put a few nobodies on a card in the apex and have ten people in the crowd watching them. It's yeah, they've been not bottom barrel. Yeah, yeah. Wait, wait what? Now there were two of him momentarily. Oh, well, he's a ninja. Um, this is the Ishida Kim of Tekken. Where's really. the T? No, there's no T. I don't see Sandy. You think Sandy would hang out in this shithole? <laughs> Probably not. No, she, she would. She is a classy not. fucking broad, and she would not be caught dead here. No. No. She only hangs out in the finest, the finest of, of South, South African, African brothels. <laughs> ninja, ninja, ninja brothels. brothels, all right? I have standards. It's in my retainer. Now, what's the, what's the thing when you're a musician? And like you like, I only want green M and M's. What's that thing called? Oh, your rider. Rider. That's it. Oh God, hand, you can do it, man. It's so oh, close. Oh, 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 yeah, space. <laughs> oh, that was unfortunate, God, hand. I'm sorry for you, man. Raven's been a bad boy. Okay, guys, I'm going to make this the last match for now on the stream. And then after that, I'll play for a little bit. Um, again, just look for a lobby called Just Bleed. Um, or, yeah, yeah, just look for the lobby. Um, or if you're on the Discord server, um, I think I can post like maybe a link to it there or something, possibly. I don't know. But yeah, we'll, we'll figure it out. Um, I'll keep playing on. Anybody who wants to join, you're more than welcome. But uh, we'll leave this one as the last one for the stream. So, God hand, make it good. Well, how do they get away with using Macho Man? No, no, that's, that's no. But the t the tiger it is called. His name is like Macho no. Man. That's the name of the guy playing. That's like uh, the way I call Napoleon. He's his handle is Macho Man. Well, why does the tiger look like Macho Man? Because he's he supposed to be to look like that. Oh, Tekken didn't do that. No, no. Ah, okay. All right. Got. Is the bee a customizer, or is that just just, just a bear bee, panda bee? Panda bee. Um, that's um, yeah, that's like a, just an alternate outfit. I think. Okay. okay. You could buy it for Tekken bucks yes. in the Tekken yes. store. Like when the kids run down, not our kids because we don't have any, so they'd be imaginary kids run down the stairs and they need a new skin for Fortnite. Yeah. That kind of shit. Okay. Uh, the chat has completely stopped. Okay. Yeah. Hello. Yeah, I don't know. I think something's gone wrong. Okay. Well, you know what? We're, we'll call it a night for now. Anyway, it's been two hours of teching. Thank you, everybody, for for hanging out. Um, let your girls watch rugby. Let your girls watch rugby. Buy your shoes. These are just the things I want to instill. Introduce yeah. your men to Valentina. You know, yeah. all those kind of things. Yeah, yeah. Body um, pillows, apparently, body for pillows, life. Body pillows, sweaty body pillows. Oh, God, life. shut up. Oh, my God, I hate you. <laughs> okay. I'll go eat Rice Krispies. Everybody have a good night. Take it easy, guys. Good night.